Hello Aries, how are you? Welcome to my channel Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Aries, this is your reading for the month of July and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Aries, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the videos. There is an extended reading for this one. The link for the same is in description box and comment section. We'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is a likely conclusion between you and this person. Okay. Aries, uh, uh, as far as this reading on YouTube is concerned, we'll see what is your energy, what is the energy of the person you're thinking about, you're dealing with, or you will be dealing with. Right. So let's get started now. Let's get started. Okay, so we have these cards. So what is your energy? We have five of cups. Then we have queen of swords and ten of cups. Energy of your person, six of pentacles. Then Aries, we have six of cups. And one more card, we have knight of swords. Okay. So Aries, uh, you may be seeing a lot of 666, you may be seeing 1111 and uh, you may be dealing with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, there is a lot of, uh, there is, there are, out of 6 cards, 3 cards are water sign cards, cup cards, okay. You may also be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. If the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed on the signs. So Aries, this is your spread. We have Five of Cups, then Queen of Swords and Ten of Cups. So Aries, what I feel is the ultimate blessing, the ultimate abundance is actually ready to enter in your life. But then something needs to shift within you. There is a shift in the energy that is required within you because we have five of cups and we have queen of swords. And the, the way this queen of swords is looking at ten of uh, cups is like she is not ready to believe that she can have this ultimate abundance. Okay, she's acting defensive. She's having some grudge and she's like, she is like the way she is pointing her hands towards this card of Ten of Cups. It looks like she's, she's coming across as a bit aggressive, not ready to believe what exactly is coming towards her. Okay, now, now this is, here comes, here comes, uh, uh, you know, this is about conditioning. People in the past have sort of conditioned you, Aries, that you do not deserve the ultimate happiness, okay? So people in the past, they they know that they were not capable of giving you uh, the ultimate happiness that you deserve, but they never wanted to put themselves down. They never wanted to show their weakness that they are not capable Instead, what they did, they, they, they tried to thrust this on your mind that you are not capable or you don't deserve the ultimate happiness. And this is how you were sort of conditioned. Maybe you were conditioned during the childhood or you may have received a differential treatment from one of your parents or maybe you were bullied a lot as a child or maybe in the relationships all of your partners or few of your partners who had a great influence on you Aries they sort of conditioned your mind your mind and your brains okay they, they sort of made you believe that ultimate happiness is something that you won't receive ever in your life Okay, and now this ultimate happiness is coming your way, Aries. Okay, the Ten of Cups energy is, is in and around you. You are not ready to believe. Okay, you are still in a defensive energy and you're like, 
I don't think so. Whatever is coming my way, I don't think so. That is a ten of cups energy. That is that is the ultimate uh, happiness energy. If a person wants to give me ultimate ultimate happiness, then they are lying. Then they they are not true. Okay. No good people. They do exist in this world. This world is not all about bad people. Okay. And people do want to help out others. People do want to extend their help and courtesy and love and affection to others. And that's what is coming your way, Aries. There is someone who wants to shower you with lots of love and lots of care and give you what you desire and what you deserve. But the thing is, you need to believe that, yes, I deserve this. Yes, I can have this. And then there are people who really want to give this to me. There are people in this world who really want to share their love and care with me, who really want to give the ultimate happiness to me. Okay, do not approach this ten of cups with with any kind of grudge, any kind of doubt. You what I see is you probably also have to work on your heart chakra. I would suggest Aries write down affirmations, okay, for next one month, one page every day. Uh, the affirmation should be, the affirmation should be love, happiness and money comes to me easily. Write down this affirmation for uh, one one. Uh, you can write one A4 sheet page or you can write half a page of this affirmation or maybe you can simply write 100 times a day. It won't take long. Okay. Uh, write this 100 times for next 30 days. You will sense a shift because what I see is there is a shift that is needed. This Queen of Swords energy, she needs to, you know, the shift is needed in that energy. You, the defensive energy you are in right now the energy where your heart chakra is not open the energy where you're not ready to believe whatever is coming your way okay that energy needs to go away that energy should transform into you opening up your heart chakra you opening up to the possibilities of of love and affection coming your way you you believing in yes i deserve the ultimate happiness Okay, so there is there is a bit of a work that is needed over here. But I see like, I'll, look, anyways, we have 10 of cups over here. So this this energy is definitely coming your way. The ultimate happiness, the satisfaction in love is coming your way. Okay, so as far as your person is concerned, we have six of pentacles and we have six of cups and uh, knight of swords. You may be seeing a lot of six, six, six or number six is of some importance to you guys. Okay. yeah so look i am getting i am getting soulmate vibes okay we have ten of cups over here we have six of cups we have six of pentacles six of cups and six of pentacles there is a, a very strong energy of stability over here whosoever uh, is about to enter in your life they are going to bring a lot of emotional stability overall stability in your life you're going to feel at peace you're going to feel at calm okay you're going to feel satisfied and content when it comes to a love life and this person with the six of pentacles they are going to be very generous with their love and affection okay looks like this person is going to cuddle you a lot this person is going to kiss you they're going to hug you and they are going to be they're going to put you on a pedestal is what i'm hearing aries Okay, this person will also pamper you. They will recognize this Aries that you are in this defensive energy. Okay, so even like you you make efforts from your end as well to transform this energy. But I see like even if you meet this person beforehand, this person will also help you transform this energy. They will also, you know, change your mind or change your energy from being defensive to more acceptable energy. Okay, I mean you accepting love you accepting possibilities of love and affection coming your way so they will also help you in this transformation and uh, with the knight of swords i believe like look this person is someone who is very strong and is someone who is very uh, aggressive in fact but that aggressive and strong personality is for the outside world when it comes to you 
they are going to show up a lot of feminine energy from their end so when i say like they will show up a lot of feminine energy from their end i mean like they will show show more of love and care and affection and they will surrender themselves to this connection very soon when it comes to the outside world they will portray a, a personality of this they the, they will uh, portray a very strong and a solid personality for the rest of the world when it comes to you they they will be all mushy mushy <laughs> they will be very nice they will be all loving caring and cuddling and caressing a very nice and a kind and a generous energy this is this person has a very wise soul and this person is an old soul they're an old soul okay and uh, you are one of their soulmates this person has multiple soulmates and this person they have a uh, what shall i say they have they have signed up contracts with with almost all of their soulmates to get into some sort of a romantic connection and to be of help uh to their soulmates whenever whenever their soulmates need them okay so what i see is this time around you guys have signed a contract to be together romantically and also they're going to help you transform they they are going to help in transforming you okay maybe for every every other lifetime this person was with someone else okay in one of the previous lifetimes you guys were together and probably this is a second or the third time uh second lifetime or a third lifetime you guys are together but apart from that uh this person is very old a very very old soul so they have had multiple lifetimes but few of the lifetimes they were with someone else i'm i'm getting this energy like this person has many soulmates and in in different lifetimes they had different romantic partners having said so don't please uh, think that they are a clear kind of an energy no not at all okay all right aries i hope this resonates and hit like share and subscribe and comment down below the link for the extended is in description box and comment section uh in the extended we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you what is the likely conclusion between you and this person all right aries take care of yourself and have a great time ahead bye bye